Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome Hi. to the most delicious stream in all the land. Uh, welcome to an uh, episode of Server Quest. We're back uh, playing through all of the MMOs that are important. Uh, and we've reached one that is, you know, low on the list. Not, didn't do much for the genre. Uh, mm -hmm. That is one World of Warcraft. Um, so we're kind of going to get into it. The series have kind of uh, kind of involved to being informative to us just chatting while playing a game. So we're gonna we're not allowed to do that anymore because now we have a uh, <laughs> the worst a part. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna but be you know what? Slightly informed. While you're playing, I will have plenty of facts to throw out. Perfect. Um. So um, I haven't played since Shadowlands came out. I don't own Shadowlands, but Shadowlands changed everything. When did Shadowlands come out? Uh, November, because I think it was delayed. Oh, okay. Um, Jesus. I'm gonna turn the game down because I think it's a little loud. Um, oh, I forgot the sound goes away when I click off of it. Um, so all of the character levels uh, were squashed by a percentage. Uh, like if you were 120, you were now 60. So I think I was like mm -hmm. 57 or 58. Mm -hmm. And now I'm 29. No, I must oh, have been over 60. I must have just been over 60. Um, so this is my wizard, Kelzor. Uh, he's adorable, and I love him. Um, mm -hmm. And that's about it. That's it. This is World of Warcraft. I'm going to turn the vault. Oh, actually, I can turn it down. What I like to call voice me. Oh my god, you have an airplane? So, it's cool. Um, I built this on one of my characters in like 2011 or 12. Mm -hmm. And they introduced a system where like you can just get any one of your mounts. Uh, as long as you have it. Oh. So like there's just collections and... That's not nice. Collect. Oh yeah, here. Mounts. So if you've ever owned a mount, you can just get it again. So I don't even have the character on this server that I built this on, but now I can just use mm -hmm. it on any one of my characters. That's um, great. Just pretty so cool. you know what? Um, how about how about you? You play a little bit. I'm going to intro this game. This is World of Warcraft. Original release date. Guess what it was? Uh, I know exactly what it was. So go for it. Is it on the screen? Oh, on your screen? On on the the stream screen. It says it. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. Nice overlay, by the way. Thank you. It is um, six. It's um, 41 years and one day after JFK died. That's right. November 23rd, 2004. Um, I heard they did a day it on that purpose. will forever live in infamy. <laughs> they did do it on purpose. <laughs> Forget JFK. <laughs> it's all about WOW now. Um, wow. Can you imagine? I would be, I would be, it would be hilarious. I wish this was true. If there was like the first WoW marketing campaign <laughs> failed because they kept saying W O W instead of WoW. <laughs> Go play W O W World of Warcraft. It's like when um, people call either Gears of War or God of War Gow. I'm like, no, it's short enough. Just say it. <laughs> yeah. Or just say Gears, you know? Yeah. Which I think they moved think away from that. Once they realize they no, they move. Yeah, they move towards gears. Like I yeah. think Gears Five is called Gears Five. It is. I'm saying they moved away from Gao because I remember, like people saying. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's also because they took the war out. It's a pacifist game. Um. So World of Warcraft. Um, a little little tidbit. This is by Blizzard. Um, this is coming out of their Warcraft 1, 2, and 3 RTS games. This is a, a giant MMO. It was the world's most popular MMO RPG by player count of nearly 10 million in 2009. It had a total of over 100 million registered accounts by 2014. 
By 2017, the game had grossed over $9.23 billion in revenue, which is uh, that's about equal to Roblox, I think. Actually, that's a crazy stat when you think about it. 13 years of WoW is equal to... I, I I don't think the math works, but like if you think about like Fortnite or Roblox or like Candy Crush, those games have made so much money that it is like exponentially more than WoW made in 13 years of release. Anyways, um, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna click on this link. Highest grossing video game franchises of all time. We'll come to back come back to that later when things get a little boring. It's too far away. Uh, 2017, a vanilla version WoW Classic was announced. It was released in August 2019. We did have a stream of that. Um, this this game is ongoing. It's had several releases. It, it's funny. It's not like we have to say a whole lot about this game because, you know, if you know MMOs, you know WoW, basically. You know anything about MMOs, you know enough about WoW. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of MMOs post-WoW have tried to emulate it, so... It's not like there's anything crazy going on here. It's kind of like, I want to say it's kind of like Citizen Kane. Um, and I'm not saying that to do just like the cliche of it's the Citizen Kane of gaming, but to say like um, Citizen Kane is a weird movie to go back and watch because even though it's good, it's not like amazing. It doesn't blow you away. And the reason why is because it introduced a lot of cinematic and storytelling techniques that are now the standard. So, like, if you go back and play WoW now, it's not, like, crazy good or anything. But that's because a lot of the techniques from it have been copied and iterated on and evolved. Um, so it's 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 kind of like that. It's funny you explain it that way, because Zach, yesterday, we were playing some Red Dead. And he asked me why I like to play retro games. Um, mm -hmm. And I kind of explained that it's like... I mean, I, like, I, I, I said the one thing that usually holds me back from retro games, the same with, like, I explained it, like, the reason, like, it's hard to go back to some old games is mostly, usually it's controls. Usually that's yeah. the thing that's hard to do. But if you can get, and I explained, if you can get past that, usually there's a lot of older games that might not have the graphics or the, or graphics or the uh, modern style, but they have really good stories or really good game mechanics. Uh, and my example uh -huh. is, like, we're playing Red Dead Online right now, which has crazy systems, but, like, Ultima 2 had some crazy systems that are pretty much near identical in their motives, yeah. but they might have gone around it differently. But um, I, I forget what, how we came to this point, but I, I explained that <clears throat> it's like um, watching Psycho and understanding that's where modern horror uh, movies came from and, versus going back and playing like Mario and understanding that's where platforms came from or playing uh like an early adventure game and understand that's where like modern games come yeah i said most yeah, of the joy like there are some old games that are just genuinely fun that i get a kick out of but a lot of the joy comes from like being like oh they did this before a lot of people um, yep um yeah i agree and and, and i think it, it's always interesting I don't think it's it's necessarily an indicator of the quality of the game, but it's always interesting which games don't age well because their mechanics are so good that they become incorporated into so many different games versus the games that do age well because for whatever reason, their mechanics, even though they're good, were not taken on by other games. So I'm thinking about something like... Uh, um, Excuse me. Give me. Can you give me one second? Yes, I'm giving you one second. Okay. Years? Like, <laughs> like uh, the classic video game, capitalized middle hyphen lowercase Earth colon space shadow of capital Mordor, um, which had the Nemesis system, and that system has just uh, other. I mean, I know there's been at least a couple games that have tried to do it but they just haven't done it as well. So if you go back and play Shadow of Mordor, like it, it is going to be unique experience, even though it is an older game. Mm -hmm. um, whereas something from the same period of time, I'm trying to think of a good example. Let me, okay, give me a second here, folks. This is a great analogy. Just give me some time here. 
Yeah, these are the kind of, of examples I think of like, 30 minutes after stream. <laughs> like, oh, I should have said yeah. that. Uh, it was 2014 was when Shadow of Mordor came out. And I'm going to go to Destiny. Also came out in 2014. So the crazy thing is, when you think about it, I feel like Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor has aged better than Destiny. And I would say because the Nemesis system, you can't really find that in the other games, except for the sequel Shadow of War. Whereas Destiny, the the loot shooter, the cursor UI mechanic, the like small multi-zone type thing, the I don't want to say drop in, drop out, but like the weird like combination social space like mission going, that has been adapted by so many games. Yeah. And so when you go back to it, you don't really think of Destiny as revolutionary because you've played these mechanics before but if you go back to shadow of mordor and you play that and you get the nemesis system that feels revolutionary even today um anyways uh i did see uh, an interesting detail guess who is one of the designers of world of warcraft um gary oldman i'll give you a hint he's still with world of with uh, blizzard and he's, 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 I would consider him one of the faces of Blizzard. Jerry Garcia. I, I don't think you're going to get this because you have bad taste in video games. It's Jeff Kaplan. Oh, I. Who, yeah, I believe he was, he's also the lead designer on Overwatch. So he, he's kind of like the face of Overwatch. He's always talking about like, these are the updates. These are the balances, etc. So you're saying he went downhill at all the work. Overwatch, man, that's a good game. That's a good game. Still like it's a really good. Uh, yeah, I, I will you. admit it's a good but, game. I, I just don't like. Yeah, it does a good job as a multiplayer title, though. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, I just I didn't know. It's like Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I yeah, multiplayer multiplayer FPS games are just like in a really bad state. Hey, when does that zombies thing drop? Did it have a date? I think it's the 14th through the 21st. Okay, so I guess Thursday. <clears throat> yeah. That's crossplay too, completely. Uh, yes, I, I did make sure. Well, I I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies is crossplay, so I'm assuming it's gonna be crossplay when it's free as well. Cool. That uh, well, I was worried about because uh, Comcast uh, officially now are doing like the data caps, mm -hmm. and so yeah. I'm at. I get 1,229 29 gigabytes a month. But, listen to this, January and February, they are allowing you to go over, and they will credit you the cost of it if you go over January and February. And starting in... Well, the, sorry, just to be clear, I don't think it's January and February. I think it's your first two offenses. No, it's January are. and February. And then starting in March, it is one month per 12 months you are allowed to go over. Her to steal. Really? So I'm only living in this apartment until the end of March. So I have three months of not having to worry about it. Because I I looked up. Well, I tried to look up their business plan today. Yeah, I got an but email those from things. them. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, let's play a game called Guess How Much Internet I've Already Used. How January much internet have you already used? Wow. I think, honestly, part of the problem is I have gigabit, so it's just easier to just suck up a lot of bandwidth. Let's see. I've used... What am I at? 445 gigabytes! Wow. Um, I'm at 175 when I checked the other day. That was before downloading Portal Craft. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It is there. Yeah, it's exactly like you said it. Yeah, I think January, February I is a grace period. I, I, because I, I had read it earlier, like a month or two ago, when they announced it, and I don't know if they've changed it since then or if I read it wrong. And I thought it was just like <clears throat> they must have changed it because Karen and I were both under the impression of what you're saying. And when I told her that, yeah. she was like, "Really?" And I, I sent it. 
But honestly, it, it makes sense for them because then they don't have to keep calculating that or doing credits. They're just like, but, oh, you know, they have an option called add unlimited data to your plan. Let's yeah. see how much this costs me. Oh, God, I hate Xfinity so much because yeah, me too. every time you try and do it, it jumps up like the 50,000 plans that you can do. Yeah, it's like, no, we're not going to show you that. We're going to show you. But before that, it's like, if you're not logged in, it's like, what's your address? And you give them your address, they're like, oh, you already have an account. These are the plans we're going to show you. It's like, no, just give me a menu. Just show then, me exactly what I can order. And then sometimes it's like, hey, you want 1,000 gigabytes a month? Or, yeah, 1,000 uh, 1, megabits a month? Well, uh, yeah. that'll be 20 bucks a month. And then it's like, oh, you want 200? That'll be $800 a month. It's like, what is your pricing system? Like, what, what are these secret things you're adding? Yeah. Like, I... I, so I I'm looking at this. So I clicked, I clicked unlimited data, right? And they're showing me, they're trying to get me to buy their equipment because I, I have my own modem and my own router. Mm -hmm. But they're not giving me an op option to just put unlimited data. But they have a thing in here that says, this includes all this stuff plus unlimited data, a $30 per month value, which is really not that bad. I may just call them and do that in march just be like hey yeah. charge me the 30 bucks a month extra because i already get like 150 dollar credit from work anyways for internet and cell phone every month so i'm basically not paying anything for internet and cell phone right now we're kind of hoping the next place we move to has more options like fios oh it it will it will not <laughs> because i because it is very rare to find a building that has two options uh, oh, you know what I mean? As options, I mean, like, the places we're looking at aren't all Xfinity. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a, I think there's a couple houses uh, that were Fios. The other problem That's is, good. like, Fios is available in our building. It just has to be installed. But... Oh, and then there's, like, a big cost you got to pay to have it installed. Yeah, I would have to probably write my landlord and convince them to pay to have it installed. Probably not. Ugh. Oh man, you ready for this, Ian? You want to see something cool? Yeah. Just in time. Let's see this thing off then. Toy train set? Yeah, look at my little toy. Oh, it clipped through, but look at my little toy train set. It's cute. They add um, first let, me let me scroll through some. Jug, 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 jug. Okay, here we go. Um, it had a peak in October 2010. It peaked with the most active current subscriptions. Guess what that number was? Uh, 10 million. Close. 12 million. That's insane. Was that, you said concurrent? Yeah, as in like, That's well, insane. as in like the most active subscriptions, subscriptions at one time. Does it have concurrent players at one time? I don't think so. For the Alliance. I, every time I come to play World of Warcraft, I think to myself, I should learn the story of Warcraft. Uh, and then I, I ultimately add like one or two uh, what they recommend are like the best books to read. And yeah, which one of them is, uh, funnily enough, the World of Warcraft pop up book. Oh, OK, so let me give you an easy question. Which is more popular, Alliance or Horde? Probably. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Now, what is the most played race in the game? Better be dwarves. Uh, it's probably the dumb answer, which is humans. That is correct. <laughs> that is the dumb answer, and it is correct. Um. Okay, so... I know what the most played class is. There is an unlicensed theme park inspired by Warcraft and Starcraft in Shenzhou. Sheng Chao. Uh, you know what? Let me look up how to pronounce this. Oh. I want to go check. Pronounce it, sir. I mean, Sound portal. Sound Shay? Sound Shay? Sound Shay? Pronunciation. Wait, here we go. I found it. I found it.
Okay. Changzhou. Changzhou. Okay. Um, a lot of these are very stupid facts. In one of the early versions of the game, both hunters and priests had melee talent trees. Who cares? I care. Oh, wyverns in World of Warcraft, World of Wycraft, are not just animals. They are sentient beings that willingly join the horde as a sixth race. You know the difference between a wyvern and a dragon? Yeah, isn't it um, the number of fanboys that scream about them? <laughs> um, no. It's like legs and arms, right? It's yeah, stupid. it's dragons have arms, wyverns aren't. Which do you prefer? I think I prefer dragons. Uh, it really depends. I, because I like the Skyrim dragons are wyverns, and I, I don't know. There's something about like mm -hmm. the, like a bat crawling with their arms that are also wings, like a dragon doing that. I, but I yeah, feel like the true. ones with arms are more majestic. Yeah. What do you think is the most common pet in WoW? Mr. Frosty. It's the squirrel. No. I have 1,500 gold. The rarest pet is the tiny red carp. What, uh, let's see what my pets are. Oh, if I have many. Okay. So, what was the highest World of Warcraft account trade price? As in somebody sold their account to somebody else in the highest purchase price. Oh, this is disturbing. This person, I Oh my god. Very attractive. Andy's little helper. Hello. <laughs> that's like is that's like eight inches tall, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, I, I wanna know like if you're a human and you summon them, are they that tall? Oh no, these are your pets. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So yeah, they're all gonna be that tall small because they're pets. I was nine thousand. Nine hundred dollars. Nine thousand nine hundred dollars. Yeah, in two thousand seven, which means that that account isn't even that great anymore. Uh, oh, in twenty fifteen, uh, they sold an in-game pet for ten dollars, with all proceeds going to Make a Wish Foundation, and they raised one point seven million dollars. Um, they did the same thing in twenty sixteen, and they raised two point five million dollars. The game has been used to advertise unrelated projects, such as Toyota trucks. Um, let's look up some more crazy facts. I have any more. Sure. Here in the Um... This is the official World of Warcraft wiki has more than 100,000 pages. Yeah, I, when I was looking up facts earlier, it was saying it's the biggest wiki as of whenever that article came. Mm. Um, oh, here's fact number eight. Famous people love playing WoW. Actually, that is kind of... Okay, Henry Cavill, Vin Diesel. That makes sense. Mila Kunis. Apparently really? also likes playing WoW. Or at least loved playing it at some point. Um, kinda just oh, here we go. Right. World of Warcraft facts for kids. <laughs> Night elves are tall and muscular. It's actually like a lot of information for kids. I want to see your like uh, abilities and stuff. Maybe that's for the expansion. A lot of stuff. You know, when you get like really into it's like when you come back to Minecraft or Factorio after a while and you're like, 
was I doing? Mm -hmm. What Always. was I doing with my life? I think I was trying to go through my engineer. Potentially, I would love to play this game. Hey, I don't know what's going on, but it looks like the gameplay on the stream is like really chunky. Chunky wonky? Yeah, it's Oh, yeah. Weird. I didn't even notice. I have like a billion drop frames. I, I wonder if it's because I'm just. Uh, it's probably because I'm running. That could be Discord, actually, now. You want to kill Discord and let's see if it improves? Because I, I can just watch off the stream or just not watch like I usually do. Twenty-seven. Yeah, stop dropping. I wonder if it just doesn't like spitting up. Same time, just load. Yeah, it could Same be. Same thing, parsec. That makes, <clears throat> I mean, at least that makes the most. Oh, yeah, that definitely fixed it. But the weird thing is, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell with a webcam, you know, because it's not updating that frequently anyways. Yeah. Oh, somebody's been flying a dragon around. Griffin. So tell me about your history your wow history when you got into it why you played it who you played it when you stopped playing it when you picked it up again um so i pl my parents my mom wouldn't let me get it because you had to pay for it um and i assume she probably read some articles about like predicting so uh i used to go to my neighbor's house who lived down the street and i would go to his house and I'd play world of warcraft there Fun. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that. Did you and like then, land it, or no? So I would go there and I play on his account. I I couldn't. Get oh, that's account. right. That's right. Yeah, gotcha. I I don't know if you like needed a credit card to sign up back then. I, I probably was. Um. Mm -hmm. So I would play on his stuff, and then my buddy at school uh, had it, so I would play like on his stuff, and then I want to say it was like ninth. 10th grade like when i had my first like debit card and stuff i was like oh i can just get world of warcraft um uh -huh. so that's when i started playing with my friends we played a bunch of world of warcraft i would pretty much only play in the summer and your break uh, oh, okay yeah because it's kind of when you realize you have tons of time because otherwise I, mm -hmm. I like wanted to play other videos um so and then I stopped playing it after high school. I don't think, don't think I picked it up. Westlog is fault. I do not think I picked it up until I might have played for a stint at some point when I got back from college. And then uh, when I moved to Jersey City, I played for a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. And then last year. 2019 before classic came out i re-upped and played for a little bit classic came out i didn't play <laughs> i didn't play classic um so i just didn't want to and then i think it was october in october 2019 because i don't think it was 2020 uh i played a bunch and then last year so every like three or four months i would probably re-up for a month or two and then mm -hmm. just play. Because um, it's a great, like, podcast game. Uh, we talk about those all the time. Just, like, easy to just do these quests and, like, pay attention to something else. Yeah. Especially when I can just I think combo I've, these. Yeah. I think I played... I want to say in, like, 2004, 2005... Or, no, wait, the game came out. So I want to say maybe, like, 2006, 2007... I played for a month and I didn't really have a lot of money at the time, so it didn't really capture my interest enough to keep paying for it. Yeah, and then... I wish they would drop the subscription model, honestly. Just like, mm -hmm. it doesn't bother me until I think about it. 
and I'm like, how much yeah. have I spent playing a game? Like, um, and then I played it. I want to say two or three years ago, I played all the way up to like level sixteen, which is the furthest I've gotten. And I appreciate it. It's just that as somebody coming to it fresh, it's a bit too dated for me. Mm. Um, like, like I was, I, I was doing it because I had an MMO itch. So, so my my MMO history is pretty weird. But basically, I didn't play any MMO seriously until I had the job at ZeniMax Online playing Elder Scrolls Online. And even though I didn't play the game outside of work, so I didn't really have a character per se. I was playing the game so much at work that I got used to enjoying it. Like I understood what an MMO is. I understood like you have these abilities, you try to get them to synergize. You have like your countdown, like this ability lasts for two, like a two second cooldown, three second cooldown. So you get used to your rotation. And I really enjoyed that. Um, and I, and so a couple of years ago I was like reminiscing on that and I, I wanted to scratch that itch. And so I picked up WoW. And I probably played it for like five or six hours and got up to like level, almost level 20, I think then i dropped it yeah I it's good quite, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm still get that itch where i just want to play an mmo and mmo and this is usually what i come back to i actually mm -hmm. picked up one recently that we'll talk about on thursday on the podcast um and I, i'm only enjoying it because i'm constantly leveling up and it constantly it's fine oh that's see like that would be fantastic if there if there was a game that was more if there was an MMO that was more like um uh an idle game where you were constantly like getting that satisfaction. Um, yeah, that is essentially what this game up so good. Yeah, I'd love that. I like slowly remembering what my combo What's the MMO that we're looking forward to? Uh, that we Final think Fantasy we're gonna actually play? That's right. That's the one we think we're actually going to play. But, you know, now that you mention it, I really just want, like, not necessarily an idle or incremental game, but I want somebody to take those, like, aggressive, rapid mechanics and apply them to the MMO genre. Yeah. You know, just, just give me, like, a whole lot of abilities and the endless, almost endless ability to like multiply damage for those abilities and have it just iterate very quickly and then just give me like a crazy amount of space and quest to just go around and and just kind of wonk stuff out you know yeah i i'm i'm looking forward to um looking forward to black desert a little bit because i heard that's pretty good um also looking mm -hmm. forward to that black desert game that's going to be like single player remember they showed that off at the game awards Oh yes, yes. That that looks like that it could be looks... interesting. Yeah, because that that game does look fantastic. I remember seeing an article. I didn't read into it, but they basically said like, here's how they're able to get this, and they're doing a lot of like graphical trips, tricks, but also a lot of like, um, game design tricks where they're like, well, they're not showing a whole lot of characters at once. You know, they're not showing yeah. a whole lot of crazy stuff and things like that to just make it look incredibly good. Yeah, but Final um, Fantasy fourteen. Um, that guy. Yeah, is... but now, now I think of it. I think the big problem I have with MMOs is I'm not going to find a solution to, which is MMOs like typically are just terrible at presenting like story and detail. It's usually just like text box, right? Or like here's a character like saying a long thing, but it's not cinematic in any way. It's just like an idling animation in, in yeah. an open area. Um, and then the other thing is that there's usually too much of a grind. And usually the controls, like the combat does not feel great because they're like, well, you're not here to feel the combat great. You're here for the story. You're here for the adventure. You're here for like the ability trees and the RPG elements of it. You don't really care so much if the combat doesn't feel good. And it's like, no, I want the combat to feel good. And I feel like those things that are important to me are not prioritized yes, at all in the MMO genre. So I'm not sure that I'm ever going to find an MMO that I really like. Yeah. Yeah. I will see you weaklings in Ice Crowd. 
if you live that long. That's upsetting. Guess I hadn't thought about that. Um. Yeah, I think that's the other one I'm looking for. That is the... Because uh, uh, Chris was telling me... I mentioned it to him. He's like, you know, I could... I could re-up and play. I was like, yeah. I'll, well, you I'll see, the thing, Chris, is... The show is about MMOs, and we play a new one every episode. But we don't actually play it. Yeah, we don't know? actually play it. <laughs> we don't um, actually play it. Uh... Uh, but he said uh, 1 through 60 in the first expansion are all free. I was like, oh, really? Yes. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of funny you mention it. World of Warcraft, we are playing that today. After this, we have only 15 left. And I believe we started this like a year ago, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Stupid. Quest. He's like, why didn't you guys play that more? I was like... I was like, first of all, this is bad. I don't know if I could play it more, but there's no way in hell Ian would ever play that game more, ever. No. <laughs> no, I would not. Like, it I just would, absolutely would never not. happen. <laughs> um, that, was, that was back when we hadn't realized yet how bad our show ideas are in terms of, like, feasibility and follow-through. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So. So. I mean, nobody watches this, so I can feel free to say things. Uh, we were jokingly, Chris and I were talking about, because all of us are watching Taskmaster. We're like, what if there was a video game Taskmaster? I was thinking about that. But, so we're still trying to think of how that would work, but got a great name. Mm -hmm. Task Manager. <laughs> I think, I, I think it would work. I think it would literally just be a bunch of video game, computer, digital yeah. type things. Like go into yeah. such and such and, or like do the coolest stunt. Here's a Steam library. Or not even Steam library. Just like do the coolest stunt. Period. Yeah. Um, I think that's totally feasible. Who owns that idea? in the sense of life. Yeah, who, can we do that? Oh, we can do that. Um, Cause that's, that's actually not that difficult. It's, it's I think it's just, it would kind of suck. We'd have to get, we'd have to, we'd have to get Jake to edit it. Cause Jake by far is the most productive and the best editor of the Suffix team. And that would be a lot of like, Well, well, so the other thing is a lot of Taskmaster fun is filming people attempting. And the idea is like when you do like do your best stunt, it would be like, okay, I'm going to go do my best stunt and I'm going to record it. Hello. And then I send you a 30 second clip. So you're going to miss all that preparation. You yeah, know what I mean? that's true. So it would, it would, I think it would just be much shorter and it would be a lot more roasted. Unless you picked a video game each week and you were just recording in the game. The entire time? Yeah. Oh, you could, you could have it be timed. So it's like, look, you have two hours to play GTA 5 and here's your five challenges. Yeah. And you record the entire two hours. Because then, because I'm thinking like one of the funny roasts could be like, you know, you, you had a good stunt, but maybe we should look at the first five minutes of gameplay and it's just you dying over and over yeah. again because you're bad at the game. And they're like, I can't believe you pulled it off, honestly. You know. Actually, yeah, I think that would I think that's that's how you would have to do it, is like it's the same game. You have a set time limit that you record the entire time and you have to complete challenges within it. Um, we're never going to do that, though. We're too lazy. Yeah, exactly. I know, I, I, um, finishing up my, my next room world, you know. I just went... Oh, I, my God. Mm -hmm. I just went ahead and slapped down a date. I was like, I'm gonna put... Otherwise, I'll keep... Yeah. I think I'm going to... Pixel 8 should be coming. 
Because I've got at least two, you and Kyle. I don't think Jake recorded anything. I, I've got stuff I can record, so Pixelate is coming back, folks. I don't remember anything I recorded, and it's probably all terrible. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, the nice thing about Pixelate is we can just edit it down to four minutes. Um, so yeah, it's a tease for you folks. Pixelate, our show where we basically have a, a high eight camcorder. We shoot things tangentially, video game related. Um, I shipped it off. I handed it off to Will. Will shipped it out to Kyle. Kyle shipped it out to Jake, and we got all those tapes in the camera back. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna start working on that. Should be good. Yay. Um. Uh... Discussion topic that I'm not saving for I the know. podcast. I know. This is the worst. We, we, this, is a, this is backfired. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have brought back server quest and a podcast in the same week. Oh, what a terrible thing. Well, we have to finish server quest. Yeah, I know. 100%. You know. I, I almost feel like we it's too early to do this, but I almost feel like the end of server quest is we just do a two hour episode where we hit five our five of them in a row. I was just thinking we should spend a Saturday, play the rest of the fifteen games and just edit it. Oh together. my god. <laughs> server quest bonanza. Oh. That sounds awful. I was just thinking the other day we haven't done a um let's play. You know, we, we talked about it a little bit. But I feel like it's, I feel like Let's Plays, we don't need to do them anymore. Uh, yeah, I only have, I have one that I'm editing, and then I have one I'm thinking of recording. Mm -hmm. um. I do still think we should finish Night Long. I don't know, I just don't feel like editing that. But I will, I will tell you, you know, for folks at home, we've teased it a little bit. On Saturday, we're going to be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies because it's free for the Indeed. week. I believe Thursday through Thursday. Um, I, I actually was going to bring that up because we have our Brothers in Arma series, which I really like in that it gives us... Um, it gives us like the ability to play games like that, like to do a bit more of a, a serious dive into them, kind of play around with them. And I was thinking about, you know, hey, what if we do? What if we do? Um, zombies, Call of Duty zombies for that. Yeah, Have you played any Call of Duty zombies? Not since World at War. Yeah, that's when I played it last as well. I remember playing it a lot. Uh, at land cafes because that's when world of war came out playing with people. Um, um yeah and it was a lot of fun a lot of fun yeah it's genuinely a good game yeah they've done a lot better job with quest tracking in the game than... um i was gonna say speaking of let's plays not to take us all the way back there but I kind of think, I wonder if there's something we could make Zach play. Like a quintessential gamer game that he would never have touched. What's the, what's the, per, like, what's the purpose? Though? Like, just to see him play it. Like, something we both know would be, like, interesting. But I don't know what game I would choose. Sounds like a bad idea. Because I think, I think... The series only works if you have somebody who is adamantly anti or is kind of like a Carl Pilkington where it's just like a dullard and you're like, you've never eaten an egg. Okay, well, we're going to we're going to make you eat an egg. You know what I mean? It's like you've yeah. never played a Mario game. You know, it's we're gonna make Zach's not that person out. Yeah, Zach's too much of like a decent, rational, Human polite being. person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am. Um... Yeah, when he was asking me questions about retro stuff, like, oh, so what? What makes you want to play like retro games? I was just like, is this a joke going somewhere? Like, are you gonna roast me at the end of this? <laughs> uh, 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 like, really confused. Are you just genuinely yeah. asking me about something? Because I'll answer you. 
Because um, I'll answer it. Yeah, because uh, yeah, that's the only one I have on my docket is like the JRPG. Because I'm like, never. I've tried like four or five times to play a JRPG. Mm -hmm. And now I'll just sit yeah. down with one of the... Play it. Didn't you come up with the with the series? Well, you you said we should play the one thousand and one best games of all time or something like that. Yeah, but... I have a, a player die, which is that one thousand one games book. And I was like, yeah. oh, we just spin the roulette wheel and play the game. I've been thinking. Um, I feel like somebody else. I think I think there's a podcast based off this where it's like the gaps gaps in the canon where it's like I think it's for I think it's a film podcast where they're like we love films we watch a lot of films but there are films that we've never seen that we feel like we should have like godfather or citizen kane etc and so they go through each episode and pick one of those that they have missed and they and they watch it um so not saying we should necessarily do that but that's that's an idea yeah um my uh my buddy's podcast the press a repeatedly they would do indie game mm. assignments mm -hmm. so like each at the end of each week you'd be like hey here's the indie game you're going to be playing this week and you'll report back on it next week uh, oh, okay. I don't know if they still do it, but it was interesting. I have to listen to the Game of the Year podcast. I voted in it. And we'll see if Death oh. Stranding won. No. God. They're very God. strict about it. It did on That's PC. That's true, which is stupid. I'm not in a long quest. Uh, yeah. So that'll be interesting. I'm just excited to play some some zombies. Man, I, I was considering before they announced the zombies free play. I was like, should should we all just buy World at War and go back and play that for a <laughs> while? <laughs> This was good. Uh, actually, now uh, that you mention it, I th Black Ops One have zombies. I might it does, and, and I might have played that one. Okay, because I looked it up, and a lot of people, yeah, World of War only had one map. Doctor Toten, right? Okay, so yes, then I did play the Black Ops One zombies. Yeah. Uh, and Black Ops One apparently has like the best zombie maps, according to a lot of people. May I help? Um. To get the choker of the so, northern wind or the wanderers wandering heel. Get the choker, it's sexy. Five seven seven eight three. The other game that we could possibly play for Brothers in Arma is SWAT four. I need to test it out, but apparently it has co op multiplayer for the entire campaign. And uh, have you ever played SWAT four? So mm -hmm. I played the demo a lot. I actually played the demo recently as well. And it's just like a, it's, it's a SWAT game, if that makes sense. Like it is, it is a SWAT simulator. It's not super hardcore, but it's pretty good about being like, you're like going through a room and you have to clear it of bad guys. And then you can like arrest them and put handcuffs on them. And you have like flashbangs and zip tie handcuffs and stuff like that. And it's pretty good about like, and it looks cool too. Man, I'm just gonna look at images of SWAT for right now. Speaks. Good hunting. Pups. I have much to offer. Yeah, you can have paintball guns, and there's like hostages, but you can like give them commands like "get down, get down," and then like handcuff oh, them so they don't act crazy. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's like a, it is a SWAT simulator. It's a very good SWAT simulator. So that's why I was thinking. You, me, and Zach should play it. No. Yeah. Um, and apparently there's a whole bunch of, like, uh, like a fan-made campaign that's even better anyways, and you can play that co-op. So, like, we do it like Arba, where we we could start the campaign, and if we find it a little boring, we can start cherry-picking missions to play. Yeah. Characters, there. Um, are, we, are, we, are we done? Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. I was going to wrap up in a second. Um, folks, if you enjoyed this, uh, you can check out all of our stuff. Oh, card. This guy used to be level 72, and he was. This is the guy who built that machine. Really mm -hmm. great. 
Only issue is he. I got hacked and someone leveled him up. I got hacked while I wasn't playing, and someone leveled him yeah. up a bunch. And uh, when I came back, I just felt like he was tainted. So I've never touched him again. Oh, okay. It's just a weird thing to. Do they just turn him? Do they level him up? But they really were just using him as a gold farmer. Probably. Um. Oh uh, let me just type in my email and phone here. Uh, folks, if you enjoyed the stream. Uh, mm -hmm. You can check out all of our content, thepixelfilms.com. Uh, if you didn't enjoy our stream, then uh, I don't want you anyways. Uh, I am at Hunt270 on Twitter. That is at Think Gibson on Twitter right above me. Uh, this was server request. I just realized I spelled it World of Racraft on the... <laughs> World of Racraft on the stream. Uh, that's what happens when you do things quickly because it said EverQuest 2 right before the start of the stream and I change it. Um, next, uh, a Thursday, the episode two of Local Chat, special guest Kyle will be joining us. So we're going to be chatting. Um, I didn't Don't have a topic. Stream tomorrow night as well. Wednesday oh, yes. night streams. Kyle stream tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Check that out. Possible rando stream tomorrow at like 5 but I might Ooh. also be recording certain JRPG instead. Um, I haven't thought of a topic yet until today. Something happened. And I think I've got a somewhat brief topic. So that should be fun. Um, but honestly, the discussion was so good last week about all the news that I don't necessarily think we can stop it. Yeah, I, I, think it, I think it'd be good to have it in the back pocket yeah. if it's a slow news week. But I... I think we ran a little long last week, so I think it's like we shoot for that hour and maybe I don't know how to cut down the game segment without being mean about it. But yeah, I was trying to think if uh, it was I'm like sorry, you get Will, one... we have we have a live development live development. Somebody has just purchased things off AliExpress. Who? Maggie. What did Maggie buy? Well, see, she used my account apparently so <laughs> she has gotten into making soap she's done oh. it before but she she took it off for a little bit she got this toast mat soap mold a toast mat read the full soap thing. mold toast mat soap mold molds handmade soap mold molds fondant cake direction silica gel aroma stone bee design uh this actually looks terrifying <laughs> I'm going to all it. Okay. I'm not going to send it to you because it's going to be complicated on your side to pull that up. I think it's better for me to just describe it. It kind of looks like, you know how sometimes uh, like there's pictures of like a beehive after it's been like murdered by an exterminator. And it's just like a bunch of like dead bees on top of honeycombs. That's what this looks like. And Terrifying. I guess you just press this into the top of the soap so that your soap now looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like honeycomb genocide, Maggie. Uh oh. Look at it. They look dead. <laughs> look at how happy that one looks. He died happy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt the end of the stream, but just a good news announcement. Maggie's um, making soaps. Yeah, we we can talk about uh speeding up time in the podcast off air. Until then, folks, uh make sure to tune in to all of our live streams and our videos. Do it, or I'll find you. I probably won't. Anyways, have a good night. Bye.